point of view of uh, environmental issues that uh, uh, trouble our city and the solutions that we found, or we are working on participations into some programs that uh, the municipality takes part to. And uh, later on, I will uh, escort you to uh, the awaiting for us, the museum, the Elite Museum. We have just the Marvel Museum waiting for us. Also, some other friends, which is from the foundation of the Archives of the City, that will give us another group, and if the web uh, allows us, to go uh, to throughout the city to see some uh, monuments and, and historical places of the city with an overview of the places. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, Christiana is uh, responsible uh, for the environmental uh, issues and uh, the Department of the Environment, I don't know how. Environmental uh, Management Sector of Lanaka Municipality. That's it. <laughs> so, and uh, she will give you another view and then we will follow up. Thank you very much. Thank you, you Maria. Uh, well, it's uh, lovely having you all here today. Um, I understand that you are here uh, uh, in the framework of a program. Uh, you are interested in eco sustainability. Yes. Is that correct? Okay. So, um, first of all, in, uh, in Lavraca, because there are uh, many environmental challenges, uh, there had to be an, an appointed person or an appointed team to deal with all this. So, uh, in 2010, um, they, um, the, the, uh, the Council decided to create the environmental management sector of Lavraca Municipality. Um, it sounds a bit more prestigious than it uh, actually is. Uh, we are three or four really um, uh, hard-working and uh, very much um, interested uh, people in, this, uh, in these matters. And um, all the things, all the issues of uh, the municipality are also uh, run um, through the Committee of the Environment. It's a committee of the councillors, especially uh, for these issues, for the environmental issues. Um, I, I personally am also a member of the Public Health Department and uh, all the environmental challenges, it is understood that um, they, are, they cut across many sectors. The, some of the things are the responsibility of the technical services, such as the, um, the urban development, let's say, in, works, in, in terms of um, uh, um, projects, uh, huge projects uh, relating to sustainable mobility, or uh, for facilitating uh, people with disabilities in the city, all these run through the technical services. Um, we as public health department are responsible for other uh, software, <coughs> let's say, actions like the administration of our beaches, uh, the cleanliness in, uh, in our city, and so forth. Um, uh, we have uh, various programs uh, running as, uh, as environmental uh, management sector. We have some soft actions, uh, mostly deal with the, the education of people. We have the Salt Lake Information Program. The Salt Lakes in our city, they take up to one third of the municipality's area. So um, the challenges are, uh, are, um, are, are big and they vary. Um, there's pressures on the, on the ecosystem. So all these are introduced to the pupils uh, through these uh, educational programs. We, we, uh, we see around 1,500 pupils every year for this program. Uh, there is also the environmental education program that we run for schools, like last year we visited uh, more than 20 schools in Larnaca to see them and to, to discuss with them particular issues that they have in their schools relating to mobility, relating um, to uh, recycling, and all this. Uh, we had, um, in 2013, we signed, in 2011, sorry, we signed up with the Covenant of Mayors, and we created our own Sustainable Energy Action Plan. Um, we had the very ambitious goal of reaching, of, um, of uh, overcoming, of over, um, of, of going above the, the 2020 goal of the, uh, of the, <coughs> the uh, EU, but uh, we, uh, we actually uh, thought that we could uh, make it up to the 25.3% 20, um, in uh, renewable energy. 
uh, we've missed some goals, we've introduced and uh, achieved some others, and I believe that uh, next year the monitoring will show that we are around 24% of uh, renewable energy, uh, use of renewable energy in, uh, in our uh, municipal area, and also um, um, in, 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 the, in terms of, re of reducing carbon dioxide um, emissions. Uh, in 2015, we were awarded, we were evaluated by uh, by Mediterranean um, uh, program, the Medea, and we uh, achieved the highest scores in Cyprus, and we received the Medea award on uh, for our sustainable energy action plan. Um, regarding energy saving, we are now running a very um, Extensive program. We are uh, we are started to replace the light bulbs in the streets. Eight thousand, approximately eight thousand light bulbs will be replaced with LED lamps, enabling uh, something like uh, twenty five hundred megawatts um, energy savings uh, per year. Uh, we participate in uh, in various environmental uh, programs and EU funded programs. We now participate in the Paris Withdrawal Program. We've had uh, Fiesta which was energy saving in households, and uh, so many others regarding the salt lake uh, prevention and uh, some others regarding uh, climate uh, change mitigation and prevention uh, measures. Um, we, every year we uh, organize a lot of events. That's environmental weeks, um, wetlands day, international wetlands day, mobility weeks. For the Constitution of the Mobility Week, we, we were nominated for five consecutive uh, years for the award, and we were and we ranked among the top ten uh, European cities uh, from 2011 to 2015, among more than 2,500 2, cities in Europe. Uh, there's um, a lot going on now in terms of uh, big projects uh, in Latin America. We recently had the renovation of Pia Lefasha Avenue. I don't know if you're speaking them to Pia Lefasha, uh, Maria. Um, uh, this avenue now uh, facilitates both pedestrians and, uh, and uh, cyclists, and there's a lot of uh, public space. Uh, they facilitate a lot of public space. We have uh, other, um, other uh, projects going on um, that, that promote um, um, uh, multicultural, uh, multicultural, um, multicultural um, events, and, uh, like a multifunctional center to you know, go. Mm -hmm. yes. community centers. Uh, there is a lot going on. I, I didn't know how much time we actually had today. Uh, so that we will be able to present. Okay, um, we are um, just let me check through my notes. I tell you something. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so long as Christiana is looking on, we take pride in our city because there are some really, really important facts that you have to know about Larnaca. Larnaca is one of the oldest cities in, in Europe. It has been located here and has been happy that it for 4,000 years. So we, we are trying to change and transform this city that has already been built for 4,000 years into a city that could, would confront the ecological and environmental issues of the future. We are living in a city where most of the city is by the beach and one third of the city is near the salt lakes, and we have also problems, uh, environmental issues, like we are the only city, one of the, the biggest airport in Cyprus, is located in Larnaca, and is located next to the salt, the salt lake, which is an important factor for us to deal with, and uh, the salt lakes is under the Natura program, if you are familiar with that. And, uh, we are doing everything we can so we can firstly educate people against uh, in, the, in the issues of uh, ecology and environmental, which is our biggest uh, bet to inform and to change culture, uh, the way things were being done, to change that, 
And the second is to in, in introduce an infrastructure to the city that will change these things. Uh, a few years ago, we had a big struggle in our city uh, dealing with environmental issues. We had the port that was being uh, there was an effort into changing our port, as you can see it from now outside, uh, into changing it to the industrial port in the center of the city, and that helped us create an ecological and environmental mentality in Cyprus because we had uh, really big uh, parades and, uh, and demonstrations and people that we wouldn't think that would care about the environment and ecology. Once we explained what the issue was, they were on the streets with us. And uh, this uh, battle, let's say in quotation, this battle went up to the EU uh, Council and uh, we avoided the port becoming industrial. So it's not only what we are doing to change, it's also what we are defending not to happen. Um, um, are, are there any particular issues that you are interested in that you would like to ask more specifically <coughs> just to help the discussion? It, could, it should be a discussion to help things. Yeah, you want to learn more. We, we, we are in favor of discussions in our <laughs> No, we, 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 we think that we get to know each other better by discussion instead of uh, you know, a written statement or a written mm -hmm. presentation that it becomes faces. So it's easy it's easier if you have any questions about the city that we can answer. Maybe some there of them are so many things. It, it would be better if maybe something we do here you want to implement in your cities and um, okay. In this uh, in this project uh, we want to raise awareness to the students about the United Nations Agenda for 2030, and uh, we would like our students to study about uh, the cities and the problems they have, and how the city will be sustainable. And we have a plan uh, to uh, let our students to imagine how the city will be in, in the future, and then to design, to create the city of the future. And uh, regarding the regional gymnasium of Livadia, we have already started um, and studying about the issues, the environmental issues a city like Larnaca has. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, our students will actually um, create the smart city of Larnaca, how they can imagine Lanaga, how Lanaga will be in the near future. And uh, they have already uh, started the project and we are in the phase of um, doing our research so that we can learn what are the problems of living in this big city. And uh, I have a question for you. Uh, would you uh, support the development of high buildings in Larnaca? This is one question we have, whether you will allow Larnaca to have, let's say, multi-floor buildings like mm, they have in Limassol, for example. Yes. Uh, first of all, we have a policy. It's not the Department of uh, yes. Christiana. And it's the, it's the Department of Urban Planning. It's the issue of uh, high buildings is an issue in Cyprus right now, not only for Lamaga. We've seen what the Amazon is has done, and we have this and we have this lesson. We, we know now that there are necessity with high buildings, so we are in better position to decide whether we want and to regulate this. High buildings, though, it's not only on the municipalities' authority, it goes up to the government as well and the ministries. So we are giving, we are trying to regulate all the high buildings without stopping development. The issue for this municipality and this municipal council is not 
to uh, give earnings instead of uh, human lives. Uh, we, are, we are trying to evolve our society with the human in the center. This, this is our we, we cannot stop this development, we cannot say no to this development, but we can regulate it so that it will uh, also help the society instead of being a burden to the society. This is, this is our main guideline that we, we try. We have many applications for high buildings and we are trying to resolve, uh, create a policy that will benefit all. Okay. Uh, in your opinion or in your research, what is the reason um, the people would like to buy, for example, would like to build a multi-floor building. Is it because there is no space uh, to build more houses? Is it because land has become very expensive? Or is it because there are there is this culture of people, wealthy people, who like to buy, for example, an apartment in Finicudes, which is going to be in, I don't know, in 100 floor? There are a number of reasons that nobody can say 100% this is for the reason why they buy. I am, I'm, I'm in my official status here, and this is, the, we don't know why. Maybe uh, it costs more, maybe they can say better, we don't know. Do we have any, any, any research? I mean, we have research, we have, we have research from the universities about, and the government also as well, and reportage from newspapers that try, try to find the reasons for high meetings. Yeah. But no no one and no one will ever be said that why this high meetings is considered to be a solution or something to aim yeah. for at this time. Yes. And uh, I, I continue asking this question because uh, talking to our students <laughs> talking to our students <laughs> the same the same goals that you have through this program is one of it's one of our big it's one of our big goals in uh, what I said about the changing the culture, about yes. the schools and everything. We did, through the mobility weeks that we are doing, we, are, we, are, we have been one of the first cities going into this in, a, a European initiative about the mobility week. We have been one of the first cities going in. When it was, the, the benefits of going into this program were not so obvious, we went and joined this initiative. And through this initiative, we are trying to find out what the children, what the youngest would want in this city, and we have, put, have made, made many initiatives into that part. One of them being we have created as a city a children games that uh, you know, like like Monopoly, like yeah, uh, yeah. we created, yeah, we created that about uh, uh, communications in the city, taxi, buses, and everything. And we created that and where it was given to children to play that in a way to reform a culture about uh, national transport in the city. So I know we are not in this program, but the aim stays the same for everybody that we have understood that the first is to change the culture of the young and to listen to them as well. Thank you. Um, the, the idea for uh, young, I mean, students talking to them, uh, they believe that we shouldn't compromise our cultural heritage for uh, profit or for uh, changing the character of our city, especially Larnaga. Yes. We should Larnaga, maintain the character. As, and the, as I told you before, Larnaga is a city for 4,000 years in the, in, the, in the same place being built. So we understand this is one of great importance to bet that the municipality has. We have, if you go outside the veranda here, you're gonna see we have a medieval castle, we have an Ottoman uh, church, we have the St. Lazarus church. These are important religious uh, uh, monuments for every religion, but they are important to every religion, each to and every religion. And we're trying to make developments without changing the historical character of the neighborhood. We, we, we have a challenge now that we have uh, applications for high buildings near the St. Lazarus Church, and this is how we are trying to deal with it. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, to create a protection area uh, mm. to resolve that. We have also in Lamnara uh, an area which is of historical importance, and we have declared that is a special area with certain uh, urban uh, regulations. It's called St. John's. Uh, uh, is that really where you try to build, like most of the places, uh, you find national buildings underneath? Mm -hmm. One, one of the biggest, one of the biggest problems that we have in Lamaga is every development, either uh, municipality development or state development, or whatever. Once the yeah, process is being uh, started, we find ancient uh, monuments, uh, ruins, or something, and that stops the, the process. And that would, that would be a lot to the city, not about development, but also to well. infrastructure as well, like sewerage, so trying to implement sewerage in the city. We dig, we find monument, we find something ancient, we stay, we stay for like one year, two years. It's very difficult for a city to, to remain, to, uh, to, to, for the identity to remain for the future as well. But we are doing it, and we are doing it really good. It's different to start from the beginning, like clean, and it's yeah. different if you try to... <laughs> you're gonna see, you're gonna walk in the city, and you're gonna find monuments. Every 100 meters, you're gonna find a monument. That has, that has, that has some importance, really important. It's not, import, it's not only important for Lerner. It's not only important for Lerner, for Cyprus. It's an important monument uh, heritage for humanity as well. Any questions for you? Okay. You want to I, have, I have <laughs> questions. Can you tell me where you would describe your experience? We have, we have some. Magazines, we collected. No, actually, we have, we have prepared the website. An example. Yes, we have, we have prepared the this battery. It contains uh, some information material. I, um, it's not much, but it's what I had in English. So that everybody can really understand. There's something on recycling, on how we are uh, processing with uh, recycling in Larnaca. We have like three main currents plastic, metal, and drinking cartons go into this is one current. Then dry paper is another, and glass is another. We still don't have um, any um, um, collection uh, uh, regarding uh, for compost mm -hmm. or stuff. We're trying to, to introduce. Uh, uh, technologies like that, uh, initiatives like that, through uh, various um, EU funded programs mainly. Now with the PSU throw program. Uh, there's some uh, cute things we had uh, given over the years uh, in our mobility weeks. Um, postcards from Larnaca, uh, each one of you has a different one. It was uh, These were uh, uh, custom made by uh, local artists. So each and every one of you gets a... Uh, All of these were three initiatives about the environment and... Uh, and how they see Larnaca, I mean, uh, in, uh, it's the environmental aspect. Some stickers regarding the salt lakes and informational material regarding the salt lakes. It's, uh, you'll see two, two uh, different uh, things here. One is about the history of the salt lakes. It's a more uh, romantic, let's say, um, uh, This one is more technical about all the pressures uh, the, the salt lake is uh, undergoing, you know, it's so, it's, uh, uh, these are quite um, nice. Uh, and this is about a new program that we started in Larnaca, um, about uh, um, underground beams. By walking on the beach, you'll see on a couple of uh, places, just the heads for, for, uh, for various beams mm -hmm. uh, underground. Okay, and all the information is right here. It's 64 uh, beans in uh, more than 17 uh, um, points all over Larnaca. And last but not least, there is a, a DVD here with some clips we created, video clips we created during the Fiesta program. Fiesta aimed to reduce the energy used in households, especially for their um, um, air conditioning needs, for the heating and cooling. So uh, we, uh, con we carried out uh, something like 170 uh, energy audits in households. We saw what the problem is, uh, were. Uh, we created reports unique for each and every household. And um, uh, we succeeded uh, some 
really good energy savings. And these are the clips for each and every uh, aspect in the household. Let's see. All of these are uh, for you, they are included here. My from, uh, we, also have, we also have all the information about right. programs that we uh, contribute or we participate in through our uh, website. The official website. The official website. Right. 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 You can find every Is it in English or in English? English. English. Some of it is uh, in Greek, some of it is uh, in English. English. Um, as it happens, uh, uh, tomorrow we are sending a delegation to Rome. We were conducted a few uh, weeks, a few months uh, earlier from, uh, from an NGO called Livable Communities. Mm -hmm. uh, they saw our um, um, actions uh, on the internet and they said that, listen, you could qualify for an award. So we sent them an application and uh, we are in the finals for, uh, for a Livable Community Award for, uh, for the cities up to 70,000 uh, people, with a population of up to 70,000 people. We'll know by Thursday evening, I think Friday evening, uh, how we did um, in the finals. Any, more, yes. any other questions? Congratulations. You spoke about some the mobility. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of actions do you have like, that week? Or do you have, for example, um, bicycling routes around uh, Dalmaka, across Dalmaka? Yes. Um, a mobility, a mobility week is just a constitution, a European constitution, to, in which we have been participating since uh, 2002. We were one of the first cities, as Mario said, to, to, to take, part, take part in this. Every year during mobility week, um, the cities that participate, they have to show the people something, the alternative to their city. How would, how would it be like to live in a city where Leoforos, you know, are, 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 don't have any, would be close to cars? Or to. Mm -hmm. So, you show them these soft actions by doing activities and stuff, but we are also uh, inaugurating new uh, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Like one year, we, we inaugurated the three plazas, the three squares that uh, were constructed in Lamna. Um, um, St. Lazarus Square, the Medieval Castle Square, and uh, the points that were very busy, traffic wise. And uh, now they are given back to, to the people. Um, uh, like with Vialetta mm -hmm. Avenue, you know, it, 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 we, have a, we have a bicycle uh, um, network, but it's, today it's a bit of bits and pieces. It's not connected. It has to be connected. So every year, works are being done in order to connect and to give the people um, a, a full uh, network, a connected network, um, so that everybody can take their bicycle and follow a safe route. Mm -hmm. It's like give and take, meaning what? We didn't know we had so many people walking. We didn't know. We built this avenue, which is just across the medieval castle. And we, we actually connected the city <coughs> from the Mackenzie area, which is our beach side, up to the port. And uh, building that, we came across a very nice surprise. People <laughs> started walking. <laughs> yes, and they started walking, you know, a lot of people. You know, it's crowded. There are days that it's crowded. We didn't know that. We built it that whole thing, yeah, and people came together. <laughs> what you said about the squares that through the mobility week, it's not the mobility week, you present the alternative mm -hmm. and actually you direct the vision of the city, mm -hmm. like what you would like this city to become. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, did, we did some on the busy streets, on the center of the city, close the streets and make squares, make, um, uh, how to say, you can see it, yes, make squares, close the streets, we have given that part to the pedestrians, we make started coffee walk. shops in the area, yeah. we, we did this, we have a major plan of this uh, protected area center of St. John, to rebuild it from the, the, the infrastructure, the streets, to make it eco-friendly and Develop it again from the beginning. So people can there and so, see it. Uh, and through the mobility, we, we, we are not only dealing with 
the, the ground. We also went into the sea. We are doing events you into the sea. We made, we made, we made, we made, we made um, uh, for the last week, we made like, a taxi, sea taxi. Okay, you could take uh, different uh, boats and you make a sea taxi. Something that it's in the vision. It could happen. You see the reaction. So we evaluate. We, 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 everybody knows that it will not happen next year or in two years. But this is where we want our city to go. We are helping every year. Every year we hold um, uh, big discussions like uh, <coughs> through NGOs and everything with the participation of the mayor of the municipality. Like how we imagine the city to become to be in the 24th. We want and almost every every time the wishes of the children are the same. More open space, more trees, more parks, mm -hmm. less cars. Mm -hmm. You know something this is this is what half my We have to say congratulate yes, we have to say congratulate to ourselves because if you ask thirty years ago me as a youngster this would not have been my priorities. They, they said to me, what do you want to your city to become? I said, I want transformers, I want something different. We educate this. We, this is something that has come out of us. That they, they become better. And this is what they used to say, how do you want your city? They don't say you want more candy shops. You don't, you don't want more toys in the city. They say, want more trees, more parks more bicycle groups. This is, this is something that we have to congratulate everybody that deals with this because we've changed their wishes. We've showed them an alternative and it's working. You know, I have a daughter. I took out the batteries from the remote control and tried to throw them away. She says, no, 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 don't throw them away. This is, there is a specific process how you throw them away. I didn't know that. So. I understand you are a series of area. How do you manage your tourism? Because I talked to Nicoletta yesterday and she said that you double your population during summer uh, time. We are we are a summer resort too and we notify like ten our population on our call. So how do we do? We remain, we remain the same. <laughs> we remain the same throughout the year. We cannot maximize our uh, uh, employees. We do uh, like you have to have areas that are more busy, like uh, rubbish, rubbish collection. We do more visits in the area. We have an emergency crew that, uh, if something requires immediate attention, we we call them on. We cannot change. We, are, we, are, we remain the same. In, in Cyprus, we have villages, like real villages of 1,000 uh, uh, inhabitants, that <coughs> to the summer they, they, accommodate, they accommodate millions. They accommodate millions. <coughs> and they, they deal with them. Yes. We have, we have an example of a number like, I, I, I think it's 10 or 12,000 throughout the year. We don't have, we don't have. It's something um, that you mentioned about tourism, something that the Armaga has aimed, and we've seen that it's changing now, is that we, we, we didn't have big numbers in winter tourism. And we had only. Uh, summer tourism. And this has been an effort and an aim of the municipality to change that. And the uh, past a couple of years, I think maybe two or three years, we have been either first or second in Cyprus in winter tourism. We are changing that and we are changing that with um, our biggest advantage is our culture and heritage in Cyprus. So we are, we are going through that, through the St. Lazarus, through the mosque, with the care which maybe you've seen in the Salt Lake, we are trying to attract uh, historic religious uh, tourism, and this is uh, giving back to us. This is actually part of the community empowerment and participation. Um, 
uh, wanted to show uh, respect to all the, the communities, the various communities living in, uh, in uh, your boundaries. And, and you also uh, give them the opportunity to, to request what they really like and to support it. Then the, the city becomes what its uh, citizens are, more or less. And um, we, we've seen a lot of initiatives lately coming straight from the citizens, like uh, to plant the 100,000 trees uh, in Larnaca in, 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 in one year. In one year. And uh, you, you, we've seen some people really enthusiastic about this, and Did they are really trying. And it was inaugurated in uh, last in uh, September. Is what I mean. And it, you, you give something to, to the community, and the community will come to give back without really asking. It's a uh, it's People, people uh, um, behind this initiative <laughs> for 100,000 people in one year in America are people who came together through the uh, demonstrations and parade about the industrial court. So they've been awakened, they group together, and they're trying to make a change about the things. Apart from the municipality, I, it goes without saying that the municipality packs them uh, 101% in all efforts they are doing. Uh, but this is what I meant, that there are it's different things happening in time that makes us take a stand. And this is what is happening in Ghana. I don't know, I, I, I'm not saying everything is good. I'm not saying everything has changed. I'm not saying that in this uh, balancing high buildings and the uh, livable societies, there are not, there are, we don't have uh, against us uh, on, on the other side people. But it's changing. Citizens are involved. I remember when I first came to the municipality 15 years ago, we would have public consultations regarding some major works in Larnaca. We would have so many empty seats. <laughs> it would be us, okay, the personnel to facilitate all these, <laughs> the hordes of people coming in. Nobody came. All these empty seats. We had public consultations about the coming sustainable whatever mobility plan that we are is currently uh, being um, uh, written. There were no empty seats. We had to bring more chairs. So you see people over the years, their the behavior has changed. Uh, you see them more involved. We are very much interested not in just seeing the difference, but in making the difference, in being part of the change, not just seeing the change. And it's it's um, it's unbelievable. Uh, to me, I have been active in the municipality for the last 15 years. Um, I've seen quite a change. We started Mobility Week um, in, uh, in 2004. It was my first year, along with Nicoletta. She was uh, here with us in the municipality. Nicoletta used to work here. Used to work here. Yes, in public health. Because we are a small city, she has been enabled to work <laughs> since birth. Uh, so um, we started with um, 100 people participating in our events in total. We would bring, we would uh, rent 20 bikes to give to the people, and it would be just the councillors riding the bikes because there were no people interested in riding the bikes. Uh, in 2010, in 2011, we started to see a change. There were thousands of people attending every year. Mm -hmm. Thousands, just in a day. Uh, we didn't have to bring bikes because we had like 400 cyclists uh, coming on the road. We didn't have to. Uh, to uh, ask people to come, please come, we have this event, it would be nice. Just come and see a small advertisement on, on Facebook, on social media, and people would just pop up. But it takes some effort. We've, we've been <laughs> through a lot okay, uh, up to this point. There is a lot of still to be done. But I'm very confident that we are on the right path. Uh, that we are on a, on a really good way to succeed in our, all our goals. It takes time, mm -hmm. uh, it takes effort, but it is paying back in a sense. Mm -hmm. oh. well, um, I saw that you are dealing uh, successfully with the separation of waste uh, products. Mm -hmm. And do you have any problems uh, regarding the uh, one-time plastic usage? 
because this is a um, really serious problem that we we have a we have a program regarding the straws, plastic straws, uh, in Barmaka. Uh, we are trying to uh, we have a program. The title is "I Say No to the Plastic Straw," and it started in Larnaca and it spread all over Cyprus. For this program, we were awarded with the green flag uh, last year. Um, we are trying to we have we have um, uh, offered all the schools or all the students in Larnaca in the municipal area with the uh, um, uh, multi-use uh, straw. Instead, instead of using the, one paper straw or one plastic straw, a little bit, with the uh, aluminum parts. Um, stainless steel. Yes. Same, we uh, have uh, replaced it with, yes, yes, with the stainless steel. And uh, we've given one to every student, to every pupil in, uh, in Lagrana. I, I think that uh, the uh, Commissioner for the Environment in, in uh, Cyprus they have uh, they have supported it and it's all over cycle now it's only all over cycle so there is uh, there's also about the plastic bag um but that's a, a, a it's a initiative it's not just uh, in Africa, huh? but we are trying we're promoting we are promoting our bags <laughs> <laughs> as an uh, environmental management sector instead of using plastic we can uh, well, this, use it this initiative about most straws we have uh, hotels, restaurants, businesses inside the Lagmaga participating, and some of them have been awarded about their uh, actions um, in dealing with the non straw process. Yeah, some of them they give you a spaghetti like yes, a for a straw. We, like we, a, we have a really lemon baked uh, spaghetti. Uh, and you drink with the macaroni. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. 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 We have one, one of our busiest. We have many tourists. One of our busiest. Uh, so imagine how many um, thousands of stores. Yes. So one of our busiest. Yeah. Yeah, one of our busiest restaurants in Lagnaga, like close uh, to one million visits uh, per year, mm -hmm. has changed the uh, straw thing and has put spaghetti, which passes through olive oil, and become uh, on the oven and become really thick. Yes. So we use that. So you can press it. Yeah. In the buildings of the municipality, we only offer uh, by the way the PLA straws. We are not saying that there are no plastic straws. Yeah. We, <laughs> we are saying that we have made a beginning mm -hmm. and it shows that it goes well, but still is a long way to go. Mm -hmm. In many of the local businesses, they will not give you a straw, they will not offer you a straw with your drink uh, unless you demand one. And uh, it's usually paper. They give you back paper yeah, stores, yeah. which okay, <laughs> <laughs> they are not the best solution. Uh, in, in in all the municipality buildings, we offer PLA stores. That's it. Well, final. Uh, sorry, uh, comment. Uh, maybe you talked before, but I didn't understand. Uh, how to to make the the the, the people in, in Larnaca participate? In, in, in the last year, because I, I understood that uh, in a few years ago, Maybe. just a few were interested, but now there are a lot of people. Is is it a work from you, or is something that grown up by itself? Or I think that the uh, sorry, I think that um, uh, the the quality of our actions has uh, changed. Um, uh, we used to bring like uh, well, like I said before, twenty bicycles, and we would plead them to, to take the bikes and whatever. Uh, once we just close the streets and make them uh, face with the traffic, okay, on some, on some streets, but uh, to show them how, uh, how different it would be for them to just walk with their children on a, on a busy Sunday, Saturday morning, instead of coming to the city center with their, with their cars, they could walk, they could take yoga classes. They could play basketball with uh, with local basketball team players um, on the streets. This alternative use of of the of the of the street and of all this uh, area it takes in the city, it started to make a change. The first year we started to introduce this, we had a hundred people more. The second year it was a thousand people more. The third year it was ten thousand people more. That's how it began. We reached a point where people would ask in the middle of the year, somewhere around here you organize this mobility week, right? Yeah, when is it happening? Yeah. We didn't have to ask them to come, they didn't come. 
I just show, show us. I believe it's the, yes. I believe it's the consistency yes. of, of the, the perseverance. I mean, you do uh, an action and 10 people come up. And you only up. the employees and the personnel and you the counselor are plenty and 10 people come. And next year, you still do it. <laughs> next year, it's the perseverance that this thing yes. is something good and it's going to catch up. And I believe in it, and any walls that come around, I'm going to break them down. This is how we do it. We, we started with uh, actions in the neighborhoods. We crossed streets in the neighborhoods. We've asked them, we, we uh, took musicians there, we took uh, uh, people that uh, would play with the kids, and uh, we, we did this in the, in the neighborhood, not only in the center of the city. This is it's the, the consistency of the action that comes around. If you do it once, and uh, you consider the fail and you do, you do not come again, then you're going to fail. It's the, it's the consistency that creates some. But you also have social media now and, you, yes. and that helps a lot yes, because you publish, when, when we did that, when we did you publish that, your work. When we did that, uh, you know, 12 yeah. years ago, Facebook wasn't around. And it's word of mouth. Yeah, I no, see a lot of things having, on having social time, media. You know, we went to a neighborhood that we brought musicians and Greek musicians and people cook. We asked them to cook and they brought outside and they brought the foods outside and they get to know each other by that. So this is this is beneficial in more than one way, in, in all sorts of ways. And uh, the people, what Christiana said, are asking us to participate. Uh, could we do this action? Uh, you know, I'm a yoga instructor. Could you close the street and I'll do yoga free lessons? I'm a cyclist a group. Could you, uh, in the mobility week, could you close the, door, the uh, roads in the city and do a cycling, a big cycling uh, road? They participate and they said they are pushing us to be better. This is how we do it. It's the same thing with the, the avenue in the working. We built it, they walk. And so it's a challenge to make the uh, round uh, big. With the mobility week especially, we grew some generations, you know. I mean, we've had some children coming to the events when they were like uh, 10, 12 years old. Last time we had a European mobility week, one of them uh, came from the university and attended again. And we have pictures of them growing up, coming, in, uh, coming again and again to the same events, of, of, of every year events, and we have them growing up uh, through this, uh, through these events, and you, see, and you see them coming back, and I believe they will be bringing their children one day, and their children will be bringing their children. That's how you change. That's how you change culture. But, um, I think it's important to mention that um, in Cyprus now we have a lot of uh, people who are coming from abroad, and like European people, like English people. And I've seen it in Oroklini, where I live. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a lot of interest from these people and awareness, I mean, to change things, to improve things. And they come with uh, support. I mean, they are supporting these uh, events that we Lama, organize. Lama has been a historic place for uh, consulates and embassies throughout the years. Mm -hmm. We have been a multicultural society for years. We have, uh, I think we have the biggest uh, group of uh, Armenian minority recipients and um, we welcome and enjoy the input of everybody, the participation of everyone. And and these communities, they thrive. And, 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 and it's true, and it's true that we have uh, uh, the input of uh, different cultures in Lanark and this is what makes us special. But I can confirm, for the last 10, 20 years, Lanark has changed completely. I mean, it's a different Larnaca. It has been improved. Yes. And it's very nice. I mean, uh, I come, I go out in Larnaca and I walk down, you know, in the nice areas in the mm -hmm. center mm -hmm. with cafes and restaurants and people walk, go out and enjoy. Young people, they go out and enjoy themselves. That is very, very important for, <coughs> for the cultural aspect of Young people stuff. in Larnaca used to go to other cities to enjoy yeah. themselves. We now, to now to other yes. Cities. yes, we used to go to Limas or to Ayamapa to enjoy ourselves. Now, not only we stay here, but everybody else comes here. Of course. Mm -hmm. So, it's a, we have accomplished a lot in that yeah, It's very yes. nice. We can walk out tonight to see the old city, which is very, very beautiful. And, it, and it's still very safe. Yes. It's yes. still a very safe place. 
Um, I, I've noticed that in the old market, you you change, you're doing something in the old market. I mean, uh, there yes, are some rebuilding. Rebuilding. What are you going to do? We are rebuilding, and this has been a plan for years now, and we are finishing on May. It's operational. We are doing a local market. A local market. Yes. Local market. Yes, local market. A lot of a lot of places in the center through European uh, funding we are changing now. Okay. If, we, if you go once if you go out you're gonna see places that uh, bring Turkish monuments, uh, Greek monuments, that we are we are changing. We are making a big uh, meeting market now in the center. Yeah, very interesting. And we are making this community. We are changing the athletic uh, center that we have. Yeah. Things are being things are being done, okay. but more needs to be done. Okay. Final question from me. I wonder <laughs> whether. <laughs> it's fine. Not a surprise. Yes. <laughs> I wonder whether you're interested to meet our students, to meet the group of students that they will work in this project and have like a workshop and discuss, you know, with them. I mean, see how we think and then you can share with them your experience and your vision about the town because these are the students of our responsibility to teach them you know the goals is education which is very important in this sustainability project education for us is very important like what you said so i wonder whether we can work together i mean somehow and then the students in the end of this project will present to you their results, their the outcome of this project. I don't think it needs to work. We are trying uh, try to create an identity with the most operational and helpful <laughs> municipality. So that's your answer. There. We see so many schools and so many cubes everywhere. And, and we are here for everybody who wants to learn. Very we good. also learn. You know, from Thank you. We do, we do really uh, last. Uh, last Friday, I think, we had the schools with the municipality cleaning uh, the Salt Lake or the beach. No, uh, we don't, this, this, is, this is every day now. No, a school contacting us saying, yes, can we clean the Salt Lake, this area of the Salt Lake? Yes, we provide everything that needs to be blows, dustbins and everything, and we, we, we do this. So, it's, it's in our routine. Yes. Yes. This is our everyday. We just need to have specific dates. Yes. Thank you. That's yes. it. I think you have one. Yes. Yes. Uh, one question. <laughs> All about water, potable water. Everything in uh, all cities will want to change. But the water is very important for to all the change. You have a, a special program for the, the water to, to I don't I don't uh, maybe I agree. There are municipalities in the EU that the water authority is through the municipality. In Larnaca it's not this. It's a separate uh, we have to have separate authorities. We have a sewerage board which is a different thing from the municipality, and we have also a water authority which is separate from the municipality. It's state. Again, but it's not, yes, it's public, yes, public, public. Okay. In the last years, in your chance. Uh, I, I could answer without being, I could have been in the board of the water authority. Uh, there are different uh, programs running about the water. And uh, one one of the biggest ones is the, how clean the water remains in the households. Yeah. And uh, this, 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 yes, this is our biggest. Uh, Biggest challenge, everyday challenge that you you remain and have the same quality for the water and the tax. We have water what? shortage in the city. We don't have any threats. Uh, some cities, some change the gardens. Yes. Since some trees, some bower yes. that need. We have grass. There, there, are, there are laws about there are laws about consuming water. Mm -hmm. you know, like how much uh, uh, water and everything, but uh, we, don't, we don't have any main problems about water in that inside. Other than the water shortage we had yes. uh, some, uh, some years, uh, so we had to create some desalination plants. In uh, in Danaka, there is a desalination plant. Uh, it is not it's not it's not it's not in operation currently uh, every year. It's only uh, it works only when we have serious 
uh, water shortage in uh, in Cyprus, and because Lana has the installation plan, is it's facilitated uh, by that. We have what, when we have water, 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 water shortage, then uh, we, we have regulations about that. Like, there's no everyday water. Uh, <laughs> we don't provide any day. What we provide three, four times a week, depending on the shortage. <laughs> <laughs> this is our this is our win. Special treatment for us. We do appreciate. Yes. Uh, I have something for you. This is a special painting from our school. And it's a bomb grenade which represents light and prosperity. And uh, we we'll give this present to you because we would like you to create a prosperous city for our people to live in the, in the years to come. And uh, we believe and that you're doing a good job. And uh, <laughs> we have faith that uh, the young generation of Cypriots will make their cities more sustainable and they will be more aware of the previous generation. Okay, that's the challenge. Yes, thank you very much. I think this is for you, Fantastic. and this is also for you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's sweets or something. No, no, no. 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 Thank you very much. Yes, 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 they left the same group, like uh, 80 people. They left. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they came here to retire. They stay in town. Okay. It's obvious they are different. There's more shit on it. Maybe we better go to the This one is from Rome because uh, our school is in the Legends in the south of Rome. And this is a present for you. For yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes. 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 This one is the, is the latest town hall. It's the building, the little one is square, the little. And this one is a picture of the town hall. So, okay. This one uh, is the profile of the cathedral, the library, and some old, um, old buildings. And this one is the old gates of the library, just next to the cathedral. We have a big thing which is it's like the first one, right? Yeah, we have a school. It was a convent in Japan. Yes, yes. It's still a museum. It's a convent. It's still a convent. For nuns, for nuns. In this no, no, just no. For us, the masses. No, no, no. 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 No, no, no.